Do like and subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update. In this video, we will discuss about how to use boundary command and region command in AutoCAD. So let's get started. So first we will discuss about boundary command. Boundary command is used to close an object by creating a boundary on it. Boundary command creates a new boundary on an object. Boundary is always a single profile. Okay. But region command converts the original object into a region or boundary. Okay. So boundary is always a single profile. Always remember this. So first we will discuss about boundary command. So for boundary command you can type boundary or you can use shortcut key of boundary command that is BO. So BO is the shortcut key of boundary command or go to draw menu and here this is the boundary command. You can also select boundary command from draw menu. But I usually prefer shortcut key that is BO. Okay. Now let's see how to use boundary command. So first I'll draw some objects and I'll make boundary on them. So I'll enter. Now I'll create some objects. Now suppose this is a rectangle. Now I'll create a boundary on this. Now select. See all the lines are separate here. So boundary means single profile. Okay. So BO. Enter. Now here we need to pick internal point of object on which we want to create boundary. Okay. So click on pick point. So add pick point. Now click inside. Enter. See all the lines are selected. Now press enter. Now boundary is created on it. See this is a single profile is created. This is the boundary. Now if you want to move this you can move this separately. See this is these are the single profile uh, single lines but this is the boundary. This is the boundary. Okay. So hope you understand. So next I will draw another object. So this is a triangle. Okay. Here all the lines are separate. All sides are separate. So now suppose I want to calculate area of this triangle. Okay. Suppose I want to calculate the area of this triangle. So for area calculation I will use list command. So li enter. Now select. Now see one line one side is selected. So we are not able to calculate the area. We are getting the length only. Selected length only. So for area calculation we have to create a boundary first. Here all the lines are separate. So bo enter. Select at pick point click inside enter. Now see boundary is created here. Now li enter. Li enter. Now select the boundary enter. Now see this is the area. So here this is the area is calculated. Hope you understand. So for area calculation boundary is very necessary. Okay. So this is a circle. This is a rectangle. Now suppose I want to create a boundary on this person. Okay. I want to create a boundary on this person. So BO enter now at pick point click inside enter now boundary is created we have to change the draw order first select the sister boundary is created here okay this is the boundary is created now we need to change the draw order of this rectangle and circle select right click draw order send to back now select this. This is the boundary is created. You can see this is the boundary. Okay. You have created the boundary. If you want to calculate the area. Li enter. Select this. Enter. Now here this is the area. So for area calculation boundary is very important. 
okay you can calculate area very easily by using boundary command okay now this is a rectangle now i'll create another object here <coughs> Now suppose I want to create a boundary on this portion. Okay, on this portion I want to create a boundary. So B O enter. Now at pick point, click inside, enter. Now see boundary is created. Here boundary is created. Now if you want to move this, move this to this side. Okay. Now under this. This is the boundary is created. Now if you want to calculate the area, LA enter. Now this is the area is calculated. Hope you understand how to calculate area by using boundary command. So boundary command is very important. Okay. Now suppose I want to calculate area of this ground floor plan. Okay. So for that, first select outer line of this plan. This is the outer line. Outer outer wall. Select all the outer wall of this plan. Now copy this to this side. Now here all the lines are separate. All are separate walls. Now I need to create boundary on this for area calculation. I need to create boundary on this. I need to make this single profile. So B O enter. Click on pick point. Click inside, enter. Now boundary is created. Now li enter. Now select this, enter. All sides are selected. Now see, this is the area. One on seven five point nine means one on seven six square feet. Hope you understand how to calculate area by using boundary command. So boundary command is very important. Okay, so boundary command creates a new boundary on an object, but region command converts the original object into a region or boundary. Both boundary and region both are creating single profile. Okay, but region command converts the original object into a region. Okay, so subtract key of region command is R E G. Okay, R E G is the subtract key of Region command. So first, I'll draw some objects. So boundary command creates a new boundary on an object, but region command converts the original object into a region. Okay, so this is the rectangle. Now I'll region this. So circle key of region command is R E G. R E G. Enter. Now here we need to select the object. So select the object. Now all sides are selected. Now press enter. Now see, select here, select here. Any point at any point you can select. This is a single profile. Okay. Now suppose this is another object. I'll create. This is another object. Here all the lines are separate. You can see. Now I'll region this. Okay, so R E G enter. Now select the object. Select, enter. Now select this region. This is I have region this. Now if you want to move this, see a new boundary is not created here. Okay, the original object converted to a region. Okay, here if you want to move this, move this here. This rectangle converted into a region. Okay, so hope you understand difference between boundary command and region command. Now, this is a new object. Now, suppose I want to region this. Okay, R E G enter. Now select, enter. Now, region is not done here. Okay, because we need to. But if you want to create a boundary on it, B O enter. At pick point, click inside, enter. Now see, boundary is created, but region is not created here. Okay, because due to this intersection lines. Okay, always remember you need to close the object first for region command. Okay, 
for region command you need to close the object first so trim this now region select the object enter now see this is a single profile region is done hope you understand difference between region boundary command for region command you need to close the object first okay now suppose this is a rectangle okay now i'll copy this okay now i'll region this r e g enter select enter this is single profile because this is the same object okay now go to tools i'll go to 3d modeling base go to tools workspaces and go to 3d modeling okay now go to unsubt view now go to sw isometric view click on sw isometric view now this is the previous object all the lines are separate here but this is the region object this is the single profile okay now if i want to extrude this object both the objects i will extrude both the objects so ext enter now select this object enter now i'll extrude to upward direction and downward direction i'll extrude to upward direction enter so this is done now i'll extrude this object so ext enter now select now we need to select we can't select this object i'll select all the lines select this 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 okay now enter now if i reason see i cannot extrude this i'm not able to extrude this so for extrude we need to reason the object first okay for extrude this object so reason this reason now select enter now this is the single profile now extrude this ext enter now select the object enter now extrude to downward direction hope you understand why region is necessary and what is the difference between region and boundary command both the commands are creating single profile but both are different boundary command creates a new boundary on object but region command converts the original object into a region okay so this is a new object now if i want to create boundary on it bo enter at pick point click inside enter so a new boundary is created on this object now if i want to move this move this this is the new own boundary and this is the previous object now if i want to region this reg enter now select this object enter now see this is a single profile but if i want to move this now this previous object is converted into a region a new boundary is not created here so this is the difference between boundary command and region command so hope you understand how to create boundary and how to create how to use boundary and how to use region command and what is the difference between both the commands so it's very easy so hope you like this video and if you like this video then don't forget to like and subscribe the channel thank you for watching